So for those of you who don't know me well enough, I was born in Hollywood and my parents moved back to Iran when I was five months old. When I moved was exactly when the revolution was happening. A lot of Christian families, we didn't have the rights. As the country was going through changes, I realized um, I didn't know it, most people didn't know it, but I was gay, but I didn't know what that meant. All I just knew I was different. I remember getting up every morning, going to school, and every time I walked in, I was very, I was praying today to be over soon because I was bullied the entire day. I hated it. Then I got home, I was more abused and bullied by my own absent father. As I went through those challenges in my life, I studied three different languages. One afternoon, I was driving home from college. Um, I totaled my car completely. My car was completely gone. I walked out of the car, another car hit me, and my both legs were shattered all the way down. For 13 months, I was in bed, multiple surgeries and long-term recovery. I was able to walk again. I was 19 when I used a walker and I moved to the US. Couldn't even pull my suitcases, moved, brought my family, and one of the best things my dad did said, if you do not move back, you have to take care of your brothers and sisters and my mother. As much as they were ashamed of me, still, I took a job waiting tables, then I took a job at a flooring company. I was 21 and I still felt something is missing. I, I expect more from my life. I don't want it. I expect it. This is just too small for me. I got a broker's license. I sold 21 properties the first year. Within um, three years, I became the manager of the fastest growing real estate office in Southern California. Then I took the franchise of another office. Three years later, I was recognized as a 30 under 30 by the National Association of Realtors for the top brokers in the country. Today, I have 800 agents generating 1.5 billion annually in sales. And And, and also, most of you know, 40 Under 40 by Los Angeles Business Journal recently. I remember when I was a team leader, somebody asked me, you're so lucky, you're just, just lucky, how do you do it? I said, I don't know, the harder I work, the harder I work, the luckier I get. To me, success is not the end result, rather the journey to get there. My journey has been amazing, and this is just the beginning.